Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. Today is going to be a complete disaster clean with me and we are gonna be cleaning, decluttering and organizing this extremely messy garage of mine. We are gonna be getting it all done today. We are gonna be getting down to the nitty gritty and taking care of all of the messes in the garage. The main goal for today is to get everything decluttered, organized and cleaned up so that I can actually park my car in the garage because it has been a super, super long time since I've been able to do so. As you can see, we have a ton of mess to take care of today. It is not the most messy garage on the planet, but it is definitely in need of some cleaning up. So we are gonna get it all done today. We are gonna reorganize everything. We are gonna clean everything. We're gonna vacuum stuff up and we are just gonna take care of all of the mess. We are going to start with something easy and we are going to clean up this space over here. I have some furniture that needs to be either donated or sold or just gotten rid of and I have a bunch of stuff piled up on it. It has kind of become my catch-all. I used these two tables to do my cabinet painting on for my kitchen makeover so you guys have probably seen them before. If you have seen that video, if not, it will be linked down below. But we're gonna straighten everything up. There's paint everywhere, there's rollers everywhere, there's all sorts of painting stuff and stuff that I take out of my car but never quite makes it into the house. So I'm just gonna straighten all of this up first and then we will move on to cleaning up some really dirty spaces and organizing stuff because it's just a hot mess up in here. One of my goals today was to get the kids ride on stuff cleaned up and to clean up my stroller as well because it is starting to cool down here a little bit. It's not super cool out yet, but it is definitely hitting below 100. So we are able to go outside and enjoy being outside a little bit more. So I'm just making sure everything is clean and ready for us when fall actually does hit, making sure there's no spiders on anything and we're just gonna clean everything up. I will get to actually scrubbing down the stroller and getting it super cleaned up in just a little bit and I'll show you just how I do that. But we're gonna pull all the stuff out. We're gonna wipe stuff down that we can wipe down. And then I am going to reorganize this little shelf that we have over to the left and get all of that cleaned up. There is dust all over everything from sanding the cabinets and just from all of the projects that I have been doing for my home makeover videos lately. So we're just gonna get everything as clean as possible today. We're not gonna get too crazy because it is a garage, but we are definitely gonna clean stuff up way more than it is right now. So as you can see, everything is extremely dusty. So as I'm removing stuff from the shelf, I'm just going to continuously wipe it down and just try to get all of the dust off of this because this is dust from paint and primer and wood and just all the sorts of stuff that you don't want on everything. Probably should have been wearing a mask while I was dusting all of this stuff, but didn't even think about that until afterwards. So as I'm removing stuff from the shelf, I'll wipe it down. And then we are also gonna reorganize the shelves. There's a ton of just different stuff on here. We have spray paint, we have car stuff, we have plant stuff, light bulbs, paint samples, you name it, it's on this shelf over here.
cleaning up this shelf, I was also finding empty bottles of whatever spray paint or cleaning products or anything of the sort and going through and trying to get rid of those and then keeping the stuff that is actually full or stuff that we will actually use. There's a ton of stuff up here that's super old, empty, or stuff that was left behind from the previous owner. So if you guys have any tips on where I can dispose of chemicals or paint supplies, please let me know in the, com in the comments down below because I have a ton of stuff that I need to get rid of and I'm pretty sure you cannot throw all that stuff in the trash. So let me know in the comments down below. It would be a great help to me if you did. So my organization method for today, since there's not a ton of space on these shelves, was to try to keep all of the paint supplies next to each other, keep all of the car stuff next to each other, and just keep like items by each other so that when you're looking for something for the car, like car cleaning supplies or oil for the car, it's all going to be next to each other. And then the same thing for the paint or the texture spray for our walls going to be next to the spray paint and all the other paint products all the caulking so that you can find stuff a little bit more easy rather than organizing it by size everything was kind of just jumbled together and just a mishmash of all of the products that we had you better get I mentioned that we were going to be cleaning the kids stroller so I'm going to be using about a quarter cup of powdered Tide and water. I put the powdered Tide in a bucket and then I just put water in there and then I'm also going to be using a scrub brush and I'm just putting that on the strollers and scrubbing them with the Tide and the water and just getting off any crumbs and caked on applesauce and all of the stuff that comes with having kids in strollers eating snacks. So we're just going to scrub everything. This worked really well. It did not fade the strollers at all. I've had this stroller for so long, probably like six years now, so I wasn't super worried about ruining it. It has seen way better days, but the Tide worked really great on it. We had no issues, no discoloration or anything like that, so I highly recommend using this if you are looking to clean your stroller. Mine gets super dusty because we live here in Vegas, and I like to keep, take the kids on walks and runs and stuff like that and we end up getting super, super dirty. So if you are looking to clean up your stroller, definitely try this. And I just let the seats sit out in the sun for a little while and they dried out super quick because like I said, we live here in Vegas and it is super dry here. There is no humidity in the air whatsoever. Now let's get back to the garage mess. So I've been working on a ton of projects lately as I've mentioned before and if you are not new on my channel you probably have noticed that. I've done a kitchen makeover, I've done a bedroom makeover which has involved a lot of painting and using tools and the sander and all that fun stuff. So instead of just putting stuff away when I've been done with it and putting it back where it belongs, I've been super lazy and I can definitely admit that I've been super lazy and I've kind of just been throwing everything in the garage. So we are going to get this whole area straightened up. This is supposed to be my husband's workbench and all of the area where the tools are and we have paint underneath it and it's just, it's a cluttered hot mess. So we're going to take care of that. I'm just going to try to organize this shelf a little bit better. It's not going to be perfect because we don't have a ton of storage space in our garage right now. We have been talking about redoing the garage, building a better workbench, and getting better storage system so it doesn't look like this, but that's not happening today. So we're just going to try to straighten everything up a little bit better and make stuff easier to find and get rid of stuff like trash and 
just stuff that we don't ever use. So I'm going through everything and I'm just going to find stuff that can be trashed and try to organize everything a little bit better, get all of my painting supplies put back together and keep all of that stuff together so I'm not scrambling around looking for it when it comes time to paint my next project. Maybe if we talk for a minute, then maybe we'd be getting somewhere. I'm going to put my paint sprayer up on this shelf as well next to the miter saw just so it's off of the ground in case the kids come out here they're not messing with it and I'm not losing pieces. This paint sprayer has been a godsend because I have been doing a ton of huge painting projects around my house. I used it in my bedroom makeover recently and it is amazing. It is a little bit on the pricey side but it has been 110% worth the investment on buying this thing. So we're going to take care of this, give them a little home up here on this shelf so it doesn't get messed up and we can keep using it for a while. And I'm also going to pick up all of my drop cloths that I had thrown on the floor. I try to salvage these as much as possible so I'm not going and wasting money every time I do a paint project. So I'm just going to try to see which ones I can save and use again and try to get all of the old tape off of these and fold them up. And just to make storage easier for them, I'm going to fold them up and I'm just going to keep them in this orange Home Depot bucket. Not the prettiest, most fancy way to store them, but it was better than throwing them on the floor. So I'm just going to pick up the ones that I can reuse and put them in this bucket. And I'm also just going to pick up as I go, pick up all of my painting stuff and just pick up this whole area because this is where my workout bike usually is. And I have not been able to put it back because it has been such a cluttered mess over here. Pretty sure this whole garage is the biggest cluttered mess ever, but it's fine. We're working on it and we're getting it done. So we've gotten stuff picked up and a little bit more organized and this is what we are left with over here. Like I said, one day we will build better shelves and organize the space even more, but for now this is what we're working with. So I'm going to stick over here for a little bit and I'm just going to vacuum up what I can using my shop vac, get all the leaves and the dirt off of the floor. I got my bike back where it belongs, I have my weights back where they belong, and we're just going to work our way around the garage and keep cleaning. We're going to vacuum stuff up, we're going to continue organizing, picking stuff up, throwing stuff away, and decluttering. We do have our old microwave in the garage still. I have a ton of stuff that I need to get rid of and I just have to wait until bulk pickup day around here, which is not this week, so there's going to be stuff sitting in my garage for a little bit, but for now, it's looking a whole lot better than it did. And now we are going to straighten up these shelves that we have by our garage door in our deep freezer. This 
is the most jumbled mess of all. There's old Christmas decorations, there's birthday decorations, there's Christmas wrapping, there's diapers, there's wipes, there's dog food, there's toys, there's all sorts of stuff. And we are just going to organize this a little bit better so that we can find everything that we are looking for when we are looking for it. I ended up finding a bunch of stuff that I had completely forgotten about, like homeschool stuff and workbooks for my kids, Play-Doh and all sorts of stuff like that that I had put in a box when we moved over a year ago and completely forgot about because the garage has just been such a disaster. I'm just gonna go through everything and find stuff that can be tossed find stuff that can be donated and stuff that needs to be put back where it belongs. We have a bunch of decor up on the shelves by my workout bike. So I'm gonna put some of the decor back in those decor boxes and then just purge stuff that I can get rid of. I love purging stuff. I find it so satisfying when I'm doing a decluttering project. So I'm just gonna bag up what I know I'm getting rid of and then we will move all of the stuff that needs to be donated or left out for bulk pickup over by the workout bike and the big trash can that we have in our garage. Like I said, I had found a box of Play-Doh stuff. I found some of our adult games that we like to play and a bunch of homeschool stuff that I'm super excited to have found because we are doing distance learning, so we're at home a lot more. And there's a bunch of stuff that my youngest can play with, my two-year-old daughter. So I was super excited that I decided to do this decluttering project because I found so many goodies that I had completely forgotten about. As you can see over to the left, we have a bunch of our paper products, our paper towels, our toilet paper. We have extra Ziploc bags. We have Kleenex over there and all that kind of stuff that we just don't have space for in the house. And then on these two shelves that I'm working on right now, I am going to have our extra diapers, our extra wipes. And we also have some bubbly water. We're going to have our bottled water that we have for emergencies up on these shelves too. I'm gonna have the extra office supplies here like envelopes and paper to be just because we don't have the space for it in the house right now. We don't have the best organization system for that kind of stuff in the house. So we're just gonna keep it out here. We know exactly where it is, easy access, and we can find it easily. I am also going to put all of the homeschool supplies that I had found on these shelves too, the Play-Doh, chalk, all that fun stuff, just so that the kids <laughs> can't get into it whenever they feel like and make a huge mess but it is easy for me to go and grab for them if they want to play with it we have our games out here too and I'm just gonna straighten it up a little bit better so that you can actually see what's out here rather than having boxes of stuff sitting out here like before that I had no clue about no matter where I hide, you got me sleep deprived I'm gonna use that Mr. Clean Clean Freak Deep Cleaning Mist on my son's power wheel right now. Get that all cleaned up and dust free because he has been jonesing to go on that and break this thing out of the garage. It's just been way too hot lately and it's finally getting to that point where we can go for walks again. So I'm super excited. We're gonna get this all cleaned up and ready for that. And we are also going to wipe down the deep freezer and the refrigerator to get those all dust free 
They're just super, super dusty from all of the sanding that I had done in the garage. So I'm just going to use that Mr. Clean deep cleaning mist to clean those up too and get those nice and dust free. This refrigerator we don't use for water, so I don't need to worry about the spout being super dirty, but we are going to get it wiped down and nice and clean because it's just filthy right now. There's handprints all over it and dust. Now that we've straightened up this corner a little bit better, I'm going to take the shop back and just get up any leaves, cobwebs, and all sorts of stuff that has been caught up in these corners and vacuum those up with the shop back. And then we are going to vacuum up this rug area that we have with my regular shark vacuum because it just works better. It has such better suction power than the actual shop vac. And we also don't have attachments for the shop vac because they got lost in one of our mini moves. So we are just going to vacuum all of this stuff up and then we are going to finish straightening up the garage. I am going to move the furniture in here that we had that we need to get rid of and we're just gonna finish straightening it up, vacuuming it up, and I cannot wait to show you how much cleaner it looks and how much more organized it is. The garage feels so much bigger now. We still have all of this stuff over here that needs to be taken care of. Stuff needs to be donated. Stuff needs to be picked up for bulk pickup. And then the stroller will go back in the back of my car. But it is just so much more open and organized in here as a whole in general. It looks so much better. I am so pleased with how it turned out. Like I said, we do need a better storage system as far as shelving and stuff goes. but. For what we have, this is amazing, and we can actually pull the car in the garage. I have not been able to pull a car in the garage for I don't even know how long, so I am super excited about this. I wish I would have done it before summer. And I hope that this video has given you a ton of cleaning motivation. Thank you guys so much for being here and so much for watching. I hope that you have an amazing day. If you have not seen my kitchen makeover or bedroom makeover video, Go check those out after you are done watching this and do not forget to stick around and subscribe for a ton of cleaning motivation every single week as well as home makeover videos. I am doing my bathroom makeover next so be on the lookout for that. Have an amazing day and I will catch you guys in the next video.